As the, most riders who've ridden Paris Ancaster know, the course is a little bit different every single year. For our 25th edition, we're looking at some new sections of uh, race course, some of which we've had our eye on for most of the history of the race. Right behind me is a sneak preview of one of the ones that we're working on. It's a, uh, a farm lane and tunnel path under the highway and includes an additional six, seven kilometers of gravel road into the race course that we haven't seen before. Paris Ancaster takes place on all kinds of different terrain, on uh, private farm lanes like we are right here, but this is the first time we've ever gone under a 400 series highway. It's going to be a pretty cool experience and we're really hoping that we can pull this together with the cooperation of the local landowners. And that's really where the su success of the race has always been. Local landowners letting us use their property one day a year. So if this comes off, please don't trespass afterwards. Paris Ancaster makes uh, minor course tweaks to the, uh, the route every year and in some years it's because of the weather, simply too wet to ride through some farm fields and we have to uh, make adjustments on the, up to the morning of the race. Property changes ownership and the new owners may not have had time to thoroughly think through the impact of 2,000 people riding across their farms. But most years we've managed to put some new things in and we're hoping to reintroduce some sections that we've had in, in the past and um, make the 25th edition uh, one of the most complex, interesting routes we've had in the history of the race. All along the race route, we have volunteers giving uh, directions and assistance at the aid stations. And we also have a lot of the uh, local residents coming out to cheer and uh, enjoy the race day. So enjoy your day on the race course. Be kind to the volunteers and say thank you to the police. Thanks.